Tully Carnet and Whitehead Eagles were the feature of the under-18 Stevie Knott Cup final at the Blanche Flower. Whitehead laid down their gauntlet early when a free kick from the left wing was trapped by Callum Armstrong, who slid low into the bottom left with a plomb. They set about doubling their advantage, although a corner was to be guided over the crossbar. Tully Carnet chanced their arm from distance and a rasping drive wasn't all that far wide. They would have their response though. Joshua Bain won the ball back and linked in Noah Morton who glided by his opposite number before slotting a cross goal into the bottom right for a superb equaliser. Morton was again the driving force behind Tully Carnot's next attack and drew a smart stop from Whitehead goalkeeper Ben Cook after dancing through a couple of challenges. Up the other end, Armstrong in search of his second dragged only just beyond the left hand post for Whitehead. It was then from a free kick that Cook denied Morton palming well. Whitehead continued to send bodies forward as Armstrong's spinning supply from the right byline curled over the crossbar and beyond Max Cosby's run. Heading into the second half, Bain found his attempt hooked away as it appeared goal-bound. If Tully Carnot had shown they meant business there, Whitehead sent out a message that the match was still finely poised. Cosby shot low, but opposition keeper Reese Park was up to the task. From there, Tully Carnot went up the other way, and to the Whitehead defence's horror, they would find their communication mix-up punished in full as Louis Miller saw through the noise to place into the bottom corner. Searching for a response, Whitehead were not to find it with a free kick that sailed over the crossbar. Tully Carnet then almost extended the chasm. Morton could only find the side netting though after rounding Cook. A corner from the left by Tully Carnet was recycled and centred back into the box by Ali McCartney requiring the Whitehead rearguard to be on alert, and they did so to clear the danger. With seconds left and in a last throw of the dice, Whitehead flooded bodies forward, and one of them, Christopher Hoy, was the beneficiary of a flick-on that he used to slot low into the bottom left with ice in his veins. Full time, Tully Carnet 2, Whitehead Eagles 2. Penalties would decide this final.